I'd like to introduce you to one of our new brushes. This one we call the Domed Round Blender. It is short bristled, therefore it's a blending brush. The shortness of the bristle gives you the stiffness that is needed for a blender. Some of you may remember when we had flats, and we still have flats, but we had a short flat called a bright. I don't know why they called it a bright, but it was an excellent blending brush. The reason it was so good was that it was short bristled. The other amazing feature is you could wear that brush clear down to the ferrule. Well, you can with these. In fact, some people who've been testing some of these brushes say they've just finally worn them down uh, almost to the ferrule. Um, let's look at the brush now. As you can see, it is domed. It is domed where the other new brush I'm going to introduce to you has comes to a point. Now, it is a round brush because as you look at the ferrule of the brush, you see that it's a round ferrule as opposed to being an oval ferrule. So it is a domed, round blender. The action of the brush is an up and down action for blending, kind of like a pity pat. It comes in various sizes and we'll see by your response whether we need to add some in-between sizes. We have chosen um, a small spread of uh, four or five brushes. I can't remember exactly. Now, these are test brushes. The final brush will come in with a blue handle. It will have the name on it and um, the size number. And it will be a blue handle because this is made of a synthetic bristle. All of the brushes in our synthetic line have a blue handle. So this will be a blue handled brush. It is a synthetic bristle blender. The action of the brush is fairly stiff. The advantage for the painter is even as your paints are drying, it will still move the color a little. Now, say you have an object that's painted, and I'm just going to use the palette here for purposes of demonstration. You can go over and tip the brush into uh, your shadow color or your highlight color and look how it you don't even have to side load or anything it will automatically because of the dome shape it will automatically feather off the color and then you just decrease your pressure less pressure and it blends. It gives you a nice, nice soft blending. If you want it even softer than this, you just go back and gently, gently work it until you have the degree of blending you want. And then it's just exactly the same for your highlight color. Let me pretend like I'm putting a highlight on here. And let this be the highlight. Let this be the highlight. You're in the highlight and you want to come out. You keep coming out softer, 
softer? Do you need to shape it a little? Softer, softer. I need to wipe it a little. I'm kind of heavy with paint. Softer. See how it just feathers out automatically. Again, because of the domed shape. Now the selection of the bristle, the synthetic bristle, has been for long wearing, for the ability to take when your paint gets thin and is drying to still be workable because the bristle is stiff enough to still blend. And I've been using, most of all, the small one, this little one. And I love it. I love it on small blended areas like in here. here. Especially nice where I want to get this stippled look to this little gingerbread boy cookie. But I did use it in here on the fox to get this streaking. This little streaking here. And this was a washy back and forth motion. Now this little uh, gingerbread plate is part of a series we're doing. And this is the gingerbread man. Do you remember the story of run, run, run just as fast as you can? You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Well, old Wiley Fox was waiting for him. This is a soon to be released little pattern, part of a new series, which I hope you'll enjoy. And I did use this small little blender. I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to paint without this blending brush. I do want to show you this piece. Now let me reach. I'm working on this for a DVD on painted fruit. It is not finished. <clears throat> but look how valuable the domed round blender has been to achieve some of these highlights. And on the smaller fruit, you just go down to your smaller brush. It's a brush I hope you'll try, and I hope you'll have a wonderful experience with it.